And the horses are moving on to the course for race number four, the Margaret Curry Henley. Two and a quarter miles, 14 national fences. Nah, miles. Twice under the wire. Field of eight fillies and mares. Start of Sterling Young getting ready to go here in race number four. The flag is up. And all away here in race four at Iroquois. Sarah Joyce to the inside, admiring glance. One lucky lady, Amnicolola. Now on the outside, for goodness sake. Then comes Sarah Joyce Seabor, followed by Lady Yates, and three lengths back is Get Ready, Set, Goes, as they head down the back straight to have a look at fence two of 14. One lucky lady and admiring glance together on the lead. Sarah Joyce in third, for goodness sakes. Next in fourth, followed by Seabor and Amnicolola on the outside. Lady Eights, last but one, and get ready, set, goes. Is last of all as they round the far turn. Moderate pace for admiring glance as they come to the top of the straight. One lucky lady alongside. Two back to Sarah Joyce on the inside. Then for goodness sake. And Seabor. Red cap between horses. Omnicolola next followed by Lady Yates. And get ready, set, goes. as they come through the straight for the first time. Setting up for the fifth, admiring glance with the yellow and green there on the inside. Also yellow and green, one lucky lady. For goodness sake, they're in third. Sarah Joyce on the inside, then comes Seabor on Nicolola. Then comes Lady Yates and get ready, set, goes as they continue on to the turn. All over the seventh and uh, admiring glance has the lead. One lucky lady is next, for goodness sake. On the outside, Sarah Joyce next, then comes Seabor. Lady Yates is next, followed by get ready, set, goes the back marker as they set down for the final drive down the back straight. Admiring glance. Moving well on the lead here for Darren Nagel. A length over one lucky lady. Now on the outside, for goodness sake, begins to make a bit of a move. Sarah Joyce is next. Then comes Seabor, I'm Nicolola. Five back to Lady Yates and get ready, set, goes. So, five from home now. Admiring glance, one lucky lady right at her neck. For goodness sakes, I'm Nicolola. Up on the outside, Sarah Joyce now begins to gain, and Seabor moves with that one. Five back to Lady Yates, and get ready, set, go, still at the back. Down the back straight they go, admiring glance. A risky jump there, but still on the lead. One lucky lady is next. For goodness sake, four wide is Amnicolola. Then comes Seabor. Sarah Joyce along the hedge. And admiring glance drops back now. And on the inside, one lucky lady. For goodness sake, is lapped on. Hard to see on the outside there. Amnicolola in the orange now gains. Then comes Seabor. Sarah Joyce on the inside. Down the straight they come now. One lucky lady has the lead. Seabor with the red cap, now gaining on the outside. Look out for Sarah Joyce to the inside. Here they are at the final. Sarah Joyce gets through on the inside. One lucky lady and Seabor. Jack Doyle aboard Sarah Joyce in front.
And race four is official. The winner number one, the field stable, Sarah Joyce. A bay mare by the carbon unit from the real thing, trained by Elizabeth Voss. Jack Doyle, the winning rider. Number seven, Seabor was second. Number six, one lucky lady, third. Number four, Amnika Lola. In the winner's circle is the winner of the fourth race, Sarah Joyce, the number one horse, trained to victory, as Tony said, by Lizzie Voss, ridden to victory by Jack Doyle, and of course, the owner of the field stable. Making the trophy presentation for this race are Marianne and Andrew Bird, honorary co-chairs here at the Iroquois Steeplechase, Luke Gregory, CEO of the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, Honorary Co-Chair, Dr. C. Wright Pinson, Deputy CEO of Vanderbilt University Medical Center and CEO of the Vanderbilt Health System. Congratulations to all. The winning jockey, Jack Doyle, on the number one, Sarah Joyce. What a fantastic win. It looked like it was uh, pretty much won as you were coming up the hill. She just kind of took command. How was it for you? Yeah, it probably didn't go to plan the whole way. I was hoping to be a bit more pace. Um, but she's just very tough. She'd do anything for you. Um, and we got a gap after the second last, going to the last, and she just picked up and she put, put the race to bed in a couple of strides. Yep, she really did do that. Now, you already had a winner on her earlier this year. Did Lizzie give you any special instructions for today, considering the depth of the field? Um, not really. Uh, I work in the yard every day, so I know the horse is pretty well. She's, she's pretty good at letting me do, do what I want to do, um, which is nice. It gives you a bit of confidence that if you go out with a plan and it doesn't, it doesn't go to plan, um, you can always do something else. Just do what you feel right at the time. Well done, Jack. A big victory here today at the Iroquois. Congratulations. Thank you.